Hello and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week. Today we are looking at Plaxton Elite Eye bodied Volvo B11 RT Interdeck Coach. This is a used vehicle test drive. We're at the Bus and Coach Centre in Oxford today. It's not very often these vehicles come on the second hand market. But this batch of seven vehicles has just arrived from Go North East. They've effectively returned home because they were new to the Oxford Bus Company for the X90 service to London. They were then transferred to Go North East for its X Line services. As you can see, the bodywork is in very good condition as these vehicles have not long been painted into X-Line's livery. The main benefit of the Plaxton Elite I is it's a very versatile vehicle. Can be used on express work, private hires, schools. Main thing to consider if you are looking at one of these vehicles is obviously the length. You've got quite a big overhang as well. Although they are still very manoeuvrable vehicles. And the other main benefit as well as the high passenger capacity is the luggage space. wheelchair ramp for the vehicle it's situated in the luggage area the total luggage capacity of this vehicle is 2,482 kilograms Looking at the exterior design of the Plaxton Elite I, this model is now 10 years old, but it still looks very modern. Plaxton so far have produced 176 examples, with the majority on express work. However, there have been some executive specification ones built. There's also a number in Poland on Polski Bus Network. And of course they're a regular site on the Megabus Network in the UK. Moving to the interior of the vehicle. It's got a wide entrance into the vehicle. As you can see, a driver's assault screen or COVID screen has been retrofitted. Got a dedicated wheelchair space here. Should you have a wheelchair passenger? Then you have two passenger seats behind the driver. There isn't a great deal of room from here, but uh, still reasonable leg room.
despite the uh, entrance to the vehicle being fairly low, the way that they've designed it, you can actually stand up straight in this area. It's only areas where you're going down into the seating area that you need to duck slightly. Moving to the saloon of the vehicle. Plenty of headroom as you move down the saloon. So despite this vehicle being seven years old, it's all in good order. Seats are still in good condition. They have USB ports fitted and plugs as well. Got convection heating and Fermo King air conditioning. Access to the toilet is down these stairs. Decent sized toilet there. Shades Techniques unit. We also have the emergency exit door there. LED reading lights. When you get to the front of the vehicle, you have two single seats and three seats together on the near side. You also have a room there for some luggage. Plenty of leg room at the front as well. These seats at the front are probably the best seats on the vehicle to be fair for the view. stairs themselves are quite shallow so they are easy to navigate so storage locket here and there is also a storage locker behind the two passenger seats there Another little space for luggage. A grammar driver seat is fitted. So even with the assault slash COVID screen in place, visibility is still good out the mirrors. Do you have LED marker lights right in the rear of the vehicle? CCTV is fitted. There's the Fermo King saloon heating and air conditioning unit. Handbrake is situated just down to the right hand side, just here. So I have a Hanover control unit for the destination equipment. LED 
headlight switch on the right hand side. The yellow button is for the door operation. And if you want both doors open, you need to press button number two here. Visibility from the cab area is pretty good. The only thing I would note is if you're creeping up some traffic lights, you would need to hold back a bit as a windscreen is fairly small compared to a standard coach. The engine of a Plaxton Elite I is a Volvo D11K six cylinder euro six which has 380 brake horsepower driven through a volvo i shift 80 2412f gearbox Now. 